now that the uh, the spinal cord is finished and the, the hand wrapping around um, I'm on to the next bit now I've decided what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put on um, this is going to be a I think I call it a femur and they'll probably join in the middle somewhere there and then I'll, I'll do another bone from there on down and then I'll put a little rubber stopper on the bottom almost finished the top part of the cane um, what I want to do I, as you can see I've, I've cut a, a fair bit chunk off the reason being is I want to get a, um, a knee joint um, so I got two lengths of bone um, the idea being that I'm going to drill a hole up there and into the other part uh, a bit of epoxy resin with a, a threaded um, bar going through probably about that far each way to strengthen the joint otherwise if I tried to carve this into some in intricate shape it might be a bit weak so I thought I'd just as well do the carving on both sides and then attach them back together but, um, taking a fair bit of waste wood off it takes a while to get it down to a manageable looking no, realistic looking bone from when you think that it was about that thick originally um, it's getting there slowly uh, I'm going to do the similar sort of thing on the bottom but we'll plow on and you'll see it as it goes on you might want to know what this is this is what I I was just playing about a bit and I um, I decided I'm going to attach a cord um, but incidentally it is quite a comfortable grip as well so this will be like it's, like it's supposed to be like a rivet with a like some sort of a clasp there I gotta f finish it off sand it down a bit more uh, but I will be wrapping a cord around it or perhaps some paracord or something to so you can put it around your, your wrist sort of thing um, bit of fine tuning on, on this to go yet and obviously I've got to finish the bottom bit but um, so far so good
almost finished now. I've done the, um, as you can see, I've done the all the little bits and bobs, all the detail. Um, I painted the teeth a little bit white there. Um, I give it a. There's no, there was no reason reason to show with the painting really because I, I didn't really paint. All I done was I antiqued it a bit by giving it a, a sort of a burnt amber coat over over a coat of white. Uh, just a gentle coat and then sort of rub that off and then I give it a couple of coats of lacquer on top. I painted the um, the rivets or um, the metal bits as a rusty sort of red to give them sort of effect. See I've antiqued the joints a little bit and give it a sort of left in the tomb sort of look a little bit but not nothing too scary to try and keep it um, less of a Halloween type thing. My next bit now is to put a handle wrap which will be a leather wrap to bind round. As you can see I'm stripping the end of the leather a bit just to get it down to a, a reasonable thickness so it doesn't show as a bump along the, the ridge of the around the back when I join it up and once I finished the, the leather bind. You'll see what I mean when I get to the to the end. All I'm doing is I'm holding this the blade and pulling the leather through. Otherwise I'll probably chop my fingers off. And I don't want to be doing that. I want to go work tomorrow morning. This should thin it down a bit to a reasonable thickness. See compared to that thickness, it's definitely going down. And I feather the end so it goes down to almost nothing. I don't want it to be any bumps at all if possible. I've never done it before. But I have watched a few YouTube videos to see what was to be done. Next thing to do is I gotta thread a lanyard through the buckle and probably tie it about there so that uh, I'll probably might put a slip knot on it of some sort so that takes the weight off the hand a little bit or whatever and when not in use I'll have it so that it can be tied around there perhaps so you can just put your thumb through it 
you see, by I got a little, um, a couple of little scowl spacers on order, and when they come, I'll fit the lanyard. And I think that's it. My intention then is to, I know I've done a lot of long videos showing you the detail of how I've done this project. And my intention is to a condenser video of this whole project down to one video, perhaps 10 minutes or something, uh, to make it a little bit more watchable for people who are not that interested in the detail. I hope you like my stick. As you can see, I got as much detail as I possibly could. I finished the leather work and it's quite a nice heel to the strap. It's also got a bit of a lanyard or a handle, which gives it a bit more, bit more of a sort of I don't play with the edge, I suppose. But um, it's quite a comfortable stick to walk with, actually. Um, but I don't think I'll be walking far with it, and it'll probably go in my collection. I hope you've enjoyed watching my video. I will be making some more. Um, I, I am posting a, a shorter video. Um, this basically condenses everything down into 10 minutes. For those who are not interested in the detail, but if you want to know how, how I made this uh, stick, click the link over there. And if you want to subscribe and follow me in the future, perhaps click the link over there. Thanks again for watching, and see you soon.